I need to apologize for last night. I realize I may have been a little aggressive. That's understandable. Do I interest you in something a bit stronger? No. But I'll sit with you if you like. No, thank you. I wanted to thank you for taking care of my mom. I tried to stay in her life as much as I could. Obviously, I could have done a better job. Being old can be a lonely thing. In a certain age, you cease to exist. Cease to matter. You used to be a part of life for the family. Part of the hive, I guess you could say. There's some British Isles hiding in your accent. I was born there. I hate it that she was out here alone. She wouldn't leave. It's too many memories. You know, I think I know why she liked you. You're just like my brother. He was in Marsoc, a marine raider. He was killed a few years ago, kicking doors. She loved him. Now he'd mow the lawn and you think he invented fire. Meanwhile, I graduated the FBI Academy and she said, oh, that's nice. She got scammed. Somebody emptied out all her accounts, her savings, her retirement, got every penny, maxed out all her cards. She was an educator, the director of a charity for kids. They got two million out of that account. You know it. I talked to an agent in our cyber crimes office. This crew's been operating for two years and we don't even have names. And even if we did, good luck building an indictment that would stand up in court. Some defense attorney would just argue that the elderly victim agreed to wire a complete stranger his entire life savings. Taking from an elderly person is as bad as stealing from a child. Maybe worse. Someone hurts a child. There are parents, people who care, ready to step in. Someone hurts an older person. Sometimes they're left to face the hornets alone. Because either it goes unnoticed or no one cares. No, I care. And I'm stubborn. 